This walk to Woodlawn Elementary School is more than one year in the making for the Caden family. Why were you nervous? Um, just COVID and the risk factors of going back to school and especially the risk for the teachers I've been concerned about. After distance learning since last March, Woodlawn asked families who wanted to come back for limited in-person learning or Lippy. Third grader Jude said no for now. His brother, second grader Augie, jumped at the chance. It was like the first day of kindergarten. Like I dropped him off on Monday and it was like kindergarten all again. But how'd he do? He did great. He loves it. And I figure even if he's not really getting so much work done, he's happy and that's what really what counts. Limited in-person learning at Woodlawn is just three days a week from 1.30 to 3 for first and second graders and their siblings if they want to join too. I know it's your third day. How is it going? Good. What do you like about it? That I have a teacher. Like an actual in-person teacher, not on a computer? Yeah. Melody Flores is Augie's teacher, one of two teachers back in the building. And the kids were so excited um, coming back. You could tell everybody's just like starving for social interaction, right? She has eight first and second graders in her lippy class. It's so different, but you know what? I, the kids are so good at it. I, they've been living in this world for the past year, so they are very aware um, that things are going to look different. Uh, so first of all, all the desks are facing the same direction. Um, so everybody's facing forward, six feet apart, masked up, can't get too close to each other. We've got to be six feet apart. A good practice run since Governor Brown is ordering all schools at all levels to open in March and April. What's great about this is kind of getting like the kinks worked out. And Flores, who teaches her kindergarten class virtually in the morning and does limited in-person classes in the afternoon, said this system works. I would personally like to continue with the lippy like we're doing. Um, and because my students have a routine um, and to break that routine, for the last few weeks of the school year, that feels kind of challenging. I think I'd like to just keep on doing this, those that want to come back in the afternoons, and then keep our routine, and then start fall ready to go with the hybrid. Whatever school looks like in a few weeks or a month, she'll roll with it, something we've all gotten pretty good at. Do you hope you can keep going to school all year? Uh-huh. And why is that? Because it's fun. All right, Kristen Severance joining us now. Kristen, how are the other families feeling about this, about going back? So Woodlawn surveyed all of the families. 60% said they want to do hybrid. So that's some online and some in-person learning. And you can imagine things are so busy right now inside the school as they get ready for whatever this is going to look like, you know, in a few weeks. What about the teachers? I know that, you know, you know the teachers so well from doing all these stories over at Woodlawn. I figure they'll be pretty honest with you. What are they saying? So yeah, I was texting with some of them earlier today. I mean, they're nervous. This system, it, it was not perfect, but it did, they figured it out. And there are eight weeks left. You know, they think it's kind of a trial run for fall, but they're also excited, of course, to see the kids in person. Even though, you know, Dan, I think this is the biggest point here. It's going to look so different. You know, you remember episode one in the fall of 2019, you can go to YouTube and watch it right now. I mean, there are so many kids in the school. There are kids packed in the cafeteria. Everyone's hugging, everyone's together. That is not what school is gonna look like anymore. And I think, you know, people kind of forget that, but you saw in my story tonight, you know, masks on, uh, you know, people are far apart from each other. So it is going to be different. Different world for sure. Right. Kristen, thank you. You're welcome.